Hey everybody, I want to talk to you today about this tool right here called a triple beam balance. This is probably a tool you've used in science class before. Uh, you'll probably use it in science classes in the future, and you're using it in science class today. So I want to make sure that you know some important parts of it, how to use it, and how to read the measurement that you get from it in the end. So first of all, why is it called a triple beam balance? Well, it's because we have these three beams right here that you're going to slide these weights along in order to balance out whatever mass we have on the pan over here. So that's why it's a triple beam balance. Okay. One really important thing to do before you start measuring anything is to make sure it's working properly. So if all of these weights are reading zero, then this arm over here should also be reading zero. If that's not the case, Call me over, I'm going to fix it for you. The way I fix it is with this little knob over here. It's called a zero adjust knob. And if that knob is in the correct place, then everything's balanced out. So at the start of class, all these knobs should be in the right place. Everything should be balanced out. So please do not mess with that knob because you're going to screw things up if you do. Um, but if anything is out of whack, let me know so I can fix it for you. Okay, so if everything is reading properly, that means we are ready to measure something. We're going to measure... Oh. There we go, our little frog here today. So you're gonna put the object that you want to take the mass of onto the pan. By the way, I should tell you we're measuring mass here, right? And we measure mass in grams. You can see right here, this little uh, lowercase g tells you that we are measuring in the unit grams. So we wanna figure out how many grams uh, this frog has. So. The way we use a triple beam balance, it's important that we move the weights in the correct sequence and with the right technique. So when I say technique, what I want you to notice is these grooves in the two bigger weights. So the hundreds place beam has grooves in it and the tens place beam also has grooves in it. Those grooves are really important. The weight has to sit in those grooves in order to measure properly. So we always start with the biggest weight whenever we're measuring something. So I'm going to start with this hundreds place weight and I'm going to slide it down the beam until it clicks into the proper groove and this arrow will be pointing then at the 100 measurement right there. Okay, so I'm going to slide it and listen for that click. Did you hear that click? I'll do it one more time, a little bit louder. There we go. So it's clicked into place. And if I let that beam go, you'll see that the arm moves down. That means I have too much weight here. This frog has a mass of less than 100 grams. So 100 is too much. I'm going to back it back up to zero and make sure it's in that zero slot. Now it's less than 100 grams. So I need to move to the back beam, my tens gram or my tens place spot. So I'm going to move my slider down. And again, we've got grooves back here. So I'm going to make sure it clicks into the 10 gram groove. All right. And my arm is still up. So that means that my frog has a mass of more than 10 grams. So I'm going to keep going. 20 still isn't enough and 30 is too much. The arm went down in the 30 spot. So that means I need to back it up one and put it back into the 20 spot. Okay. Now, finally, I have this slider up here. There's no grooves on this one. This one I just slide along until the arm balances out. Looks like we're almost there. That's probably too much. Let's go about right there and see what it does. And I think that's pretty good. Sometimes you need to give it a little bit of time to balance out, but I think that that is pretty good there. So now we've got everything balanced out. Now we need to know how to read the mass that we've measured. So in the hundreds place, we're pointing at zero. So we have less than 100 grams, but we do have a reading in the tens place and in the ones place. So in the tens place, we're reading 20. So I know that my frog has a mass of 20 something. So now we need to look at the ones place and we see that it's measuring about eight point, I think seven. I think there's seven tick marks after that eight. So that means in the tens place, I have 20. In the ones place, I have 8.7. So the final mass of my frog is 28.7 grams. Make sure it's really important that we put that unit on there. Don't just say 28.7, 28.7 grams. Okay. So there's your super quick crash course on how to use a triple beam balance. Important things are making sure that things balance out properly 
at uh, zeros before you start measuring. And then as you're measuring your object, make sure you're measuring from the heaviest weight, clicking it into the groove first, and then your next heaviest weight, and then finally your smallest weight down here. If you have any questions, let me know. Good luck.